Dust to Dust by Hammy Hoag. So basically this starts out as, um, with Andy Fallon, he is hanged. Um, apparently he is hanged. So, um, basically he is a gay Minneapolis police officer, and he had, well, there was, uh, innocent a couple of months before that with another man who was beaten to death, and he was also gay and he had filed, um, uh, disputes against some people about, uh, discrimination against him. So basically Andy is dead, and then, about a week later, um, Mike Fallon, who is his father, who was a person that did a, uh, a, he was a very famous police officer, um, that did a case 20 years before, and he got shot. And he was also Andy's father. And apparently he had shot himself with his own revolver. So, uh, Sam Kovac and Nikki Leska from the book before are signed on to the case, and they are not happy because um, Sam was a good friend of Mike's, and then Nikki just hates people discriminating against the gays. So shortly after that, both of the cases are immediately stopped as a suicide. They are shoved away as a suicide. So they are angry at that as well because you needed an investigation. But what was kind of odd was that when they saw the hanging, it just seemed a little too neat, a little too ordinary for him to hang himself. Because he would not just make his room all tidy so that you wouldn't have to clean up the crime scene, would he? So most of the people that they interview are very paranoid and very suspicious. And then, one, they don't really find anybody connected. But then, the revelation has come. And then, they finally figure out, they finally have clues to who actually did it. So basically, this all goes back to the case that was 20 years ago with um, a man named Thorne and then his wife and his daughter. So, basically, um, it goes back to the first responding officer, who is Mike Fallon, and then the second responding officer, or, in this case, um, the actual first responder to this. Um, his name is Ace Wyatt, and he is this, um, this movie, this police officer turned movie star, uh, TV star police officer. And what happened then was that he had gone in there and shot Thorne. Basically, he had shot, no, he did not shoot Thorne, he shot Mike Fallon which made him, in a, made him stay in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. Sam then figures this out slowly, and he realizes that Andy and Mike were both murdered by his little tiny henchmen. So then, um, his daughter, Amanda, who was renamed afterwards, um, she shot Thorne because she... Had, or he had been raping her mother, which is a very sad thing. He was a very abusive person whose power had been taken out of hand because he was just a police officer. So basically, this is just a big message of basically who done it and why would they do it. My favorite character is basically was Sam Kovac again because he was just no nonsense and he would always yell at everybody and it was funny and yeah